Chief Executive Officer Raquel Brown of the St. Kitts Tourism Authority said she is optimistic that tourism will be rebuilt, but it will take time. Speaking recently on a Second March Leadership Matters TV program, CEO Brown commented on various components of the tourism industry on St. Kitts, including cruise tourism. We'll be rebuilding tourism and it will be a process and it will take time. I will start quickly with cruise because cruise is going to be the one that is most dependent on the vaccination rollout. To date, the CDC and the Biden administration in the United States, they have not moved forward with test cruises that were to start this month. However, we wait and we hear what they have to say. But what is clear is that there is one cruise line already, and it is Crystal Cruises, and it is one of the most high-end cruise lines. Uh, they do come to St. Kitts. They've come to St. Kitts in the past and to Nevis. They have already indicated that they will require all cruise passengers to take the vaccine. So we see that in the marketplace already a demographic of cruisers are going to be required to do this, to have the vaccine. Uh, cruise, so we wait. Um, we wait to see what happens. We haven't had test cruises yet, which will be the, pr the, pre the preliminary state for passenger cruising that they hoped would have started sometime March, April. However, we wait to see what happens, but we do know that the vaccination rollout is going to be very essential and it is going to help in building out itineraries that St. Kitts and Nevis will share. Issues of vaccination, test cruising and protocols could delay the process of restarting cruises, she said. We do have to have the vaccine. Do I think it will become a requirement for travel? Uh, I do think at some point it will, but I think it's going to be a phased approach. I think also for uh, airlines and for cruise lines, for them to manage the spread and not to be the responsible carrier or carriers of the COVID-19, they're also going to require it as they do uh, for persons who are traveling by air for yellow fever. Uh, as it speaks to Crystal Cruise Line, uh, that is specific for that cruise line do I think that it will happen we will see there are some cruises yes I know that are on the schedule for May and June not just for Royal but for other cruise lines uh, I do not know if do, do, I do not foresee those really happening for the simple reason that the CDC has not put out those passenger cruises for sale for test cruising to go first and then passenger cruising and it is a requirement that test cruising is to take place for a period of 60 days for them to move to passenger cruising by getting a green maintaining their green status so as we still wait we're in March we need to be a little bit realistic I just don't know how soon that will happen because the CDC and the, the President Biden administration has not come out and said specifically what are going to be the protocols for cruise. Meanwhile, the CEO revealed that since the borders were reopened in October 2020, only 25% of air passengers were vacation in place visitors. Glenn Barth, SKN Newsline.